Amazon Web Services are opening up a region in the UK which actually ameliorates some of the challenges that uh, are around privacy and security for the public sector. And we at the Catapult are very interested in supporting the public sector and the private sector in actually using this sort of platform. I think that the understanding now that there is a specific audience they need to get their message across to is, is really important. I think this is the start of doing that to me. For example, when I was talking with somebody elsewhere about Simon's Web Services, they said, I want to buy a car and they're selling me an engine. This is actually the approach to create the full car. This is actually how the, you know, this, this approach now with the London Innovation Series is showing how that platform can be used as opposed to the platform just being a platform. Splunk has had a global relationship with AWS for a number of years. Two or three years ago, we went all in on AWS for our Splunk cloud service. And we have a number of customers now looking to use Splunk to monitor their AWS environment, as well as actually deploy Splunk workloads in AWS data centers. What the UK region means for Splunk is now our public sector customers who are particularly concerned about security and data sovereignty will be able to use Splunk within the uh, new London uh, region. So the Informatics Lab is the main innovation unit at the Met Office, which is the UK weather service, the, the national weather service. And essentially we were created to be able to transform the culture of the organization and to find new solutions to, to all problems that we have had. So AWS is essentially one of our major kind of pieces of, of work. So we have developed many kind of prototypes in there and this has allowed to test us different technologies to do data dissemination, test new technologies to improve security on how we release data sets, new technologies in terms of how we give access to these data sets. And it has been an absolute pleasure to combine things like some of the Elasticsearch, some of the kind of particular databases, with things that are kind of a more kind of at the end of the user, like for example Alexa. The confidence that we have in the AWS suite of services enables us to respond dynamically to what our clients need. So if we get a call from a client asking us to develop a particular service, we know without doubt that we can deliver on that. TFO and AWS have a really close partnership and we've developed some really good things such as Cloud has enabled us to develop our open data platform which has encouraged uh, developers to produce new products and services for our customers. I think where we could go further now with AWS is how can we drive more innovation? How can we work together to develop even better products and services? The challenge we were having with uh, some of the bigger central government departments were as we were aggregating these, uh, their data, it was getting quite large uh, terabytes um, and we're working with a customer where it could potentially go up to petabytes of data and to be able to leverage and use that uh, scale of volume of data, we needed a, a scalable uh, platform. And so it had to be a public cloud infrastructure. And when we looked at the capabilities of the various public cloud providers, AWS came um, top. I very much look forward to seeing as many people as possible here in March, and not just technical people, business people, to actually understand what is the art of the possible in the future city space. Mm -hmm.